This is Alternative Political Analysis, and we will be discussing the occupation of Ireland today. In the 12th century, there was a King of Leinster named Dermot McMurray, and he had the protection of an ally named Maherdach McLaughlin. And when McLaughlin died, he lost the protection with it. Thus, he was deposed by a rival king, Rory O'Croher. And subsequently, McMurray fled to Br Bristol under the protection of the Norman King of Britain, Henry II. And in 1167, Richard Fitzgodbert de Roach invaded, and in 1169, Strombo and Richard de Clare invaded Ireland and restored McMurray to the throne of Leinster. And in return, um, Dermot offered his daughter to Richard de Clare also known as Strombo and he subsequently married Aoife McMurray for this re reason Dermot McMurray is known as Dermot Nanal which means Dermot of the Foreigner and given his collaboration it is a well-deserved moniker. Now, six centuries and two decades later, there was a meeting in North Belfast, which was attended by Theobald Wolfe who, in my opinion, is the greatest Irish man who ever lived. There was, there was Thomas Russell, Henry Joy McCracken, Samuel Nicholson, William Sinclair, Henry Haskett, Gilbert McElveen, William Sims, Robert Sims, Thomas McCabe, Thomas Pierce, and Samuel Mateer. Now, this led to the rebellion of 1798, which led to 30 battles in four months, and this it all boiled down to that there was 51,100 Republicans against combined British military forces and the Loyalist forces of over 96,000. And despite this, um, French General Humbert was able to establish a republic in Connacht um, for a fortnight, and the casualties of 1798 uh, were 3,000 of the British and Loyalist forces and over 50,000 um, Republican forces and civilians included in that figure of over 50,000 Irish deaths which amounted to an Ulster Scots genocide and half a century later this was followed by on Gorta Moor millions dead it, it was genocide um, Ireland's population was decreased by over a quarter. Ireland was producing food surpluses and guns were held at starving Irish people. Um, so they were forced um, to give up their food, their sustenance at gunpoint. So they were forcibly starved down the barrel of a gun. 
and basically Ireland's population was over 8 million prior to Angortamore and has since never recovered and half a century later this led to the home rule crisis and then the Tom War and this all began with Ireland voting for Sinn Féin, an abstentionist political organisation by an overwhelming majority in 1918. Britain refused to recognise the Irish Republic so it sent over for war veterans and to bolster the forces of the Royal Irish Constabulary Reserve Force and Auxiliary Divisions and this led to the Tom War and over 550 Irish volunteers died fighting for the IRA and over 714 British military personnel um, were killed during the Tom War and so were over 750 innocent Irish civilians. In 1921 Sinn Féin and the Irish Republic um, got even more um, increased overwhelming majority and the Irish Republic's president at the time, a cowardly traitor by the name of Eamon de Valera, met with a Unionist leader, James Craig, and this meeting had been set up by the British to, in an effort to compromise the Republic. However, um, de Valera and Craig had agreed on a federal solution prior to the Treaty of Surrender and this was subsequently ignored by the British who under the leadership of Lloyd George imposed an ultimatum of the Treaty of Surrender or war. In any case the Treaty of Surrender led the war, um, though that was one of the um, Free Staters myths about the treaty, it, that it would have led to a civil war had it not been implemented. The Irish Civil War was caused by the fact that the um, Articles of Agreement for a treaty between Britain and Ireland were implemented. And let's look at um, this civil war after we remember that Lloyd George threatened the Irish delegation that the ma the that it be known that the man who is against peace now shall now and forever bear the responsibility of an immediate and terrible war, which was Lloyd George's way of saying, accept this or else and it was a clear military threat all the Irish delegates buckled apart from Robert Erskine Childers who summoned his gumption and rejected the treaty for his troubles um, he was executed in the subsequent civil war and the capital offence he was executed for was possession of a firearm. The firearm in question had been given to Robert Erskine Childers by none other than um, head of the Free State Government and head of the Free State Army at the time, Michael Collins, so you can see how they set him up. And in the Civil War, which came as a result of 
um, refusal to accept a democratic decision and a violent ultimatum imposed by those who would wield the authority of a Roman imperial civil magistrate, for example. And the civil war led to over 800 free state casualties and 3,000 Republican casualties, as well as over 250 recorded civilian deaths in Dublin alone, and the national figure um, was so great that it has never been accurately recorded. And half a century after these chaotic wars came the Troubles. Now there were peaceful nationalist protesters in the six county state that seceded from the free state under the free Treaty of Surrender and basically stormed the government of the six county state. Answer was violence and basically militias and paramilitaries. This quickly spiralled into an intense guerrilla war and the casualty list speaks for itself. 1049 British military personnel um, were killed during the troubles as were 11 free state military personnel. 306 368 Republicans at least lost their lives and there were 162 loyalist casualties and the civilian death toll is 1841 at least and during um, the troubles there was the Sun and Taylor Agreement, which required a unionist and nationalist um, government executive, and it also created an All Ireland Council, which included a ministerial council from composed of ministers from Leinster House and Stormont, and accompanying said ministerial council was a consultative assembly composed of assembly members in Stormont and assembly members in Leinster House and Son and Dale boiled down to um, what's now known as the Good Friday Agreement without identity recognition which uh, is essentially whether a person in Ulster is Irish, Britonic, or both. Although um, there would be people who are none of the above. And it is, Sunnendale was also the Good Friday Agreement without. Um, requiring that Westminster and Leinster House cooperated, and it is the good and Sun and Dale was the Good Friday Agreement without mandatory coalition, as um, in the 1970s there was a section of the UUP. Um, under Brian Faulkner, who w was prepared to um, share power with the Social Democratic and Labour Party at the time, which was then led by Jerry Fitt. However, um, th that, that faction of the UUP split and became the Northern Ireland Unionist Party. However, um, Mandatory coalition was put into 
the Good Friday Agreement as um, neither provisional Sinn Féin nor the Democratic Unionist Party um, prior to 2016 would have um, chosen of their own free will to share power with said party and now it is basically Summondale since um, parties can now choose to leave the executive which leaves the Democratic Unionist Party and Provisional Sinn Féin sharing power voluntarily. In any case, as a Republican, I reject Stormont and Leinster House as I believe in the Republic, which I mentioned was created in 1918 and ratified yet again in 1921. And basically, um, provi basically, provisional Sinn Féin has sold out Republican principles by implementing British rule through a storming executive. And they had really sold out in 1986 when they recognised Leinster House, which is the Free State Government, which is the same Free State Government that smashed the Irish. Republic during the Civil War and a government unworthy of recognition and thus concludes my first video for politic alternative political analysis and please give thoughts and feedback on this video and I will see you again when making another video. Thank you and goodbye.